Born from the Appalachians, bluegrass or mountain music echoed the daily life for those living in the hills. Despite the intimate down-home feel to the music, technology would be responsible for taking the sound out of obscurity and into the common experience of the American people. The invention of the phonograph and the popularity of radio in the early 1930s would eventually allow the Monroe Brothers and Flatt & Scruggs Band to define the modern bluegrass era. By the 1960s, bluegrass festivals allowed musicians to connect with an even wider audience that still fuels the progression of the music today. At least until March 2020, when all the live music stopped. The band, the Jacobs Ferry Stragglers, it originated uh, right here in Stockdale, PA, where I live. Um, we took our name from an old ferry landing down in Greene County, Jacobs Ferry. Overall, it's a pretty positive experience. You get to do something positive for the world with making music. You know, that's a pretty lucky thing to be able to get to do. early days of the lockdown were sort of a situation where I was trying not to panic. You know, like nobody really knew what was happening yet. It was, we didn't really know a lot about anything. I mean, it surely impacted the industry in, in the sense that it just immediately shut down and, you know, people lost a lot of money. I'm dirty and I'm humble, but now do what I do best. Everybody fully pretty much committed to like, well, we're gonna do whatever we have to do to try to, you know, generate some income for ourselves. The next day, March 14th, everybody came here to the house and we did our first live stream. Hey everybody, welcome to our living room. Which really went shockingly well in every way. None of them sound great, none of them look great, all just done with my iPhone. But they did what they were intended to do. And then we did it, you know, every week or every other week. Music is a give and take. The secret is, is that the more that you receive from the audience, the more that you're able to give back through the show energy, which is a really difficult thing to accomplish when you're staring into a camera lens. So I like distinctly remember playing the first song of that stream. And when we were done, there was just no response except like the dog scratched his belly or something. <laughs> so we started screaming yippee after each song and like that caught on to become such a thing. We're pretty blessed with a pretty active Facebook page, actually. People really take part in it, and it just skyrocketed. You know, the streaming thing is different, you know, but I think it could be part of the future of the industry for sure. Like, I think that it's something that should be built into business models. We played the Station Inn in Nashville and, a, and a, a club similar to that in Asheville, and we doubled the ticket sale money on both nights with online streaming shows. It's a funny fight in the world, actually. You know, like we get called progressive a lot, and there are people that just don't like that. Well, there's a lot of different versions of this thing that's been around going on a century now. And you know, like, why would why would we not want to let it keep growing? There's a whole lot of young people that really weren't aware of it that now are. I don't think that the Jacobs Ferry Stragglers are alone in having found out through the pandemic just how much music means to people. Now, I just want to, just want to do what I do now. You know, it's, it's, it's been the single most positive thing in my life ever, I think. <laughs>